Hey Future Truckers, Shelton here. You know, I like this camera angle because it shows how much the front part of the trailer moves. I always tell the students that I mentor that moving my trailer around reminds me of pushing a long wheelbarrow. I never try to move the rear of the trailer directly. It just doesn't work that way. I move the front part of the trailer so that its entire length points in the direction that I want the rear of the trailer to go. It's all about how I pressure the kingpin. When working within my mirrors, this amounts to pushing the front corners. If my steering wheel were a clock and my hand started at the noon position, I will move my hand in the direction I want the front corner to move. I work directly within my mirrors. There is no opposite thinking needed. I only move my hand on the steering wheel as much as the front corners dictate. If they are not moving fast enough, I move my hand a little farther. I'm looking for subtle movements. I'm using a fixed line as a reference point, either the inside edge of my mirror or the back part of the tractor. When I notice these movements, I can make small correcting moves with my steering wheel and maintain complete control. Here's another important detail that new drivers don't realize. The tires must be rolling. If the tires aren't rolling, the front corners don't move and I have nothing to react to. You don't need to roll fast or step on the accelerator. Let out the clutch and idle back slowly. I'm going to pull out of this dock space and back alongside this curb. All of the fundamental elements are the same as backing into a dock. However, this maneuver will provide a little longer observation time. I point the trailer by rotating it around its pivot point. I achieve that by simply pushing against the kingpin, or the front part of the trailer. I'll be pulling straight ahead from this dock space on the right. Once I'm sure that the rear of my trailer has cleared all obstacles like this yellow pole and the end of this fence, I will turn towards the curb. When I get close to the curb, I will turn 90 degrees and drive parallel to it. The rear of the trailer will follow the tractor but it will take some time and space to catch up. Now I'm constantly glancing at my mirrors, trying to be aware of where my trailer is pointing. I can see that I will run out of forward space before getting the trailer pointed towards the curb on the left. I can also see by following a line straight down the side of my trailer that it's currently pointing over to this area in the lower mirror. I need it to point over towards this curb in the other mirror. The front of the trailer needs to rotate towards the mirror on the right for that to happen. I'll start pulling the front of the trailer in that direction, but I can see that I'm going to run out of forward space. That's okay, I'll finish rotating it when I start backing up. When I start backing up, I'm going to want my tractor pushing against the other side of the kingpin. So before running out of room, I'm going to make a sharp turn to the left to get my tractor over to that side to make things a little easier and not get myself in an awkward position. As I start to back up, I give that corner a big push with the steering wheel. Notice the counter move in the opposite direction soon after. If I didn't do that, the front corners would keep moving. Now my trailer is pointing where I need it, so I want my tractor back to the front of the kingpin as soon as possible. I can tell by how much of the trailer's sidewalls are visible in both mirrors, so when I see the same amount in both mirrors, I know it's not changing directions. From here, I only want to make slight, subtle correcting moves. Here are some things I'm paying close attention to at this point. I'm watching where my trailer tires are on the ground currently versus where I want them to be. This line created by the bottom edge of my trailer tells me exactly where my trailer is heading. When my tires get closer to the curb, I'll push this corner towards the curb and try to parallel these two lines. I'm watching the front corners move and making minor corrections with the steering wheel. The bottom edge of the trailer is pointing at the curb. I'm watching the tires get closer to it. Just a tiny nudge will get the corner to start moving closer to the curb. 
I don't want that side out of my view for too long, so I'm going to push it back. Notice that I have to make a small counter move to keep the corner from continuing on. From here, I'll repeat those same things. I'll assess where my tires are, where the trailer is pointing, and I'll pay close attention to how the front corners are moving so I can make quick minor adjustments. I can get my tire a little closer to the curb by pushing the corner over and getting the trailer to point towards it. I'll give it a little time to travel, then I'll push the front corner back over and make the bottom edge parallel to the curb before it gets too close. And finally, get my tractor back in front of the kingpin by balancing out the amount of sidewall visible in both mirrors. Okay guys, that's all for this one. Remember to watch that tire location on the ground. Nudge those front corners to keep that trailer pointing where you need it to go. Um, keep the tires rolling slowly and try to be aware of that front corner movement. Um, let me know in the comments how it works out for you. You got this. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.